Hi, my name is Stephanie Hauser, and I'm an environmental engineer. I'm also part of the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering's Ambassadors Network, which helps celebrate groundbreaking engineering innovation that has changed the world. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how nuclear reactors work and how you can learn about them in the comfort of your own home. I think we all realize how important energy is to our daily lives. But did you know that nuclear power accounts for over 10% of our power globally? And that number is increasing. While it does struggle with waste disposal, it's a green, clean, and powerful energy source. Now let's see how one works by building one out of candy. So first we're going to start with our reactor vessel, which for us is just a glass. In the real world, it's a steel pressure vessel that can withstand high heat and high pressure. We're going to add our moderator liquid, which is water in the real world, that helps slow down the chain reactions. For us, it's clear soda. And then most importantly, we have our fuel rods. So our fuel rods it contain our uranium pellets. And what happens to produce energy is we break apart our uranium pellets, the uranium ions, and in doing so, we do something called fission and it produces a lot of energy. This also creates a chain reaction. So for our demonstration, we're gonna have our nerd fuel pellets inside our straw and topped off with our mini marshmallows to hold them in. And then next, we're gonna use control rods so that we can moderate how many of those chain reactions actually happen because we wanna keep a steady stream of energy flowing. So for us, we're gonna use Twizzlers as our control rods, and they're gonna be able to move up and down for us to regulate that energy. All right, let's see how this works. All right, so we're gonna put our fuel rods in, and we're gonna see that reaction. And just for everybody at home, I did add a little bit of baking powder so that it would be a little bit more interesting to look at. And then we're gonna regulate it with our control rods. So it can, it can have more energy coming out if we pull our rods up and less energy when we put them down in. All right, so that's basically how a nuclear reactor works. Feel free to make one at home. Feel free to eat one at home. You know, they're delicious. But also help us celebrate incredible engineering achievements by sharing a photo or video of some engineering innovation around your house. And tag engineering inspiration.